Dear students, welcome back to my channel, Dressmaking with Teacher Lynn. Before we start, kindly give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You were able to draft your front and back body's foundation pattern using the body measurements that you have taken. You were also able to practice layouting the pattern pieces on the fabric. The hints in cutting and marking were also discussed. These are just some of the pre-assembling processes in blouse construction. So, to review, you have taken the body measurements and then you have drafted and cut the pattern. So, you lay out and pin the pattern pieces on the fabric and cutting and marking the fabric. We will now proceed with the latest blouse unit method of construction. Let us define first of these terminologies. Construction process, it is the entire process of making a garment. So the assembling and attaching the color and sleeve are just some parts of this construction process. Finish, it is the treatment of raw edges, especially on seams and hem. So this finish is used to avoid reveling of the fabric. Dark, it is a fold of fabric wider at one end, coming to a point at one end, which gives shape to the garment. So this darts on the blouse, we have the front and back darts. Fastener. It is anything that fastens like the bottom zippers, hooking eye, and snaps. On the blouse, we will be using the bottoms. And then seam. It is. It means joining two edges of fabric together. It's like your side and your shoulder seam. And then unit. It means any group of garments cut by piece. Let's now proceed with the procedure in assembling the ladies blouse so this is the first procedure which is to stay stitch the neckline and the armhole of the front and back bodies so stay stitching is being done for accuracy and so that we can maintain the shape of the neckline and the armhole of the blouse the second is to sew the darts and then you have to press it so if you are going to sew the darts make sure that they are pointed just like the ones illustrated here. So this is how the darts will look like after sewing them. Third procedure is to sew the shoulder seams. So using a plain seam, you have to join the front and the back bodies on the shoulder part with the right side facing each other and then sew it. After joining the shoulder seam, you have to assemble the collar and attach the collar. So how are you going to do that? So the illustration shows the proper way of attaching the collar on the neckline of the garment. The next procedure is to assemble the sleeves. In assembling the sleeve, you have to sew the hem part of the sleeve first by folding one fourth inch and then one inch as a final stitch in the hem fold. And then join the side of the sleeve by using French seam. Okay, sewing one fourth on the right side and invert one half or three fourth on the wrong side. You have to press the sleeve. So every after procedure, you have to press it so that it will have a neat finish. And then next process is to attach the sleeve just like this one. Of course, you have to attach it on the armhole with the right side facing each other and then you are going to pin and sew it just like the ones illustrated here. So you are pinning so that uh, it will be easier for you to sew the armhole part. The next 
procedure is to make marked button holes and attach the buttons. You have to work on the button holes by using the button hole stitch. So this stitch is what we call the blanket stitch, just like the ones illustrated. So after marking the button holes and and sewing the button holes, you have to hem the blouse by folding one fourth inch, going to the wrong side, and then one inch is the final stitch on the hem fold. Aside from checking the setting of the sewing machine before you before sewing, you have to consider also the safety precautions while you are sewing. So you should also remember the following hints while you are sewing. So darts should be sewn pointed at the end. In sewing the seams, follow the markings for stitching lines so that there will be accuracy. Seams should be pressed open and you have to consider the interfacing fold and opening when working on the hem and button holes. With that, I hope you have learned a lot. Thank you for watching.